this is really interesting. We often think that prophets only talk about the future, and they do talk about the future, always in this covenantal context of the consequences of keeping or not keeping the covenant. And if we go to Deuteronomy chapter 18, God is speaking through Moses, revealing his will to the people of how he wants them to be covenantally loyal. And he says to the people, thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. Now, we think the word perfect means arm without sin. It actually means be loyal to God in the covenant. Do the things he's asked you to do. And then he goes on and God says, the Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me. Unto him ye shall hearken. So Moses is not always going to be with the people, but he's kind of the ideal or paradigmatic or exemplary prophet. And God saying, I will raise up other prophets like him. And what do prophets do? They teach God's covenantal words. Isaiah is one of those prophets. And of course, the main example is Jesus Christ, who reveals the fullness of God's covenants. So you look at what, when prophets are prophesying, they're always talking about God's covenants. And they're not going to come out and say, I'm talking about God's covenants. They, but they will be speaking God's words and what God expects of us. And that's what Isaiah is doing. And that's what Nephi is trying to help us understand. He's helping us to understand the consequences of being in God's covenant or not being in God's covenant. Being loyal and faithful to what God had revealed to the people at Mount Sinai or in subsequent revelation.